So, here we are, pretty much out in the bog. Um, but anyway, I stumbled across this truck, and it's pretty interesting. It's like a little shorty deal. So, you know, it's painted in military colors, and it looks like something that would have been in an airfield to pull planes around, maybe. I'm sure it's, I'm sure it tops out at like... 50 miles an hour, but um, pretty neat. I've never actually seen one of these in person, but anyway, it's unlocked and get that out of the way. And the key's in it. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and try and make this rig run. We'll see what happens. It's been sitting here, looks like a really, really long time. So the door could use a little help there. That's for sure. There we go. So take a look under the hood. We can figure out how to open it. Come on, HUD. Looks like a 300 inline six, powered by Ford, single barrel carburetor. Got the weeds growing all up inside of it. Um, I saw something on desulfating a battery, so I'm not, I'm going to try and light this thing off without spending a dime. So I might pull the carburetor out and spray it out and I'll probably rig up a gas can, but, uh, anyway, I'm going to try and desulfate this battery. So I need to get it out of here and I'll pour all the acid out and then we'll use some Epsom salt and put it on a charger to see if it'll live again so should be interesting to see but with that um, we'll do that trick and then we'll get to this truck so for now let's get that battery out and see if we can bring that battery back to life i'm sure it's been sitting here for at least five ten years okay here we have that battery that i pulled out of that old truck and i popped the caps off and as you can see the uh um acid is still up to level but I mean the battery sat for a really long time and I tried to charge it and it wouldn't charge so we're going to try to do the Epsom salt um, deal on it and see if that will work. Desulfate the battery I guess it's called so anyway let's go ahead and pour this out. probably can't see it like I can but looking in here there's a fair amount of corrosion built up so it's kind of what happens when a battery sits so we'll go ahead and add our salt solution and see if it'll clean it up but anyway that's where we are as of now all right so here we have our Epsom salt solution and um, I have two more containers it should take about um, four of these but I have about um, 30 to 40 percent of this Epsom salt dissolved in here so quite a darn bit as you can see it's real cloudy so the idea with this stuff is you put it in you put the battery on really low trickle charge for like three to four or five days and if it'll if it charges back up then you know it worked you know and again you only do this with batteries that um, you know won't charge so it's kind of like a really interesting thing because this you know, you could grab a battery that's been sitting around for 20 years, like this truck's been sitting out there. I talked to someone the other day for, you know, about 10 years. They've just kind of moved it around with the forklift, so um, I guess pulled it around. They didn't lift it up, but anyway, so it'll be a good test to see if this works on this battery here. So, you know, there's no real exact science to it. Just fill one cell, move to the next. So... We'll probably add some more of this at some point. 
I'm just going to fill them all the way up to the top. I feel like that can't hurt anything. So like I said, you're not supposed to leave this stuff in after you do this. That's not the point of it. Um, that's kind of what a lot of people do. I saw online. So after I did my own research, I found that's not quite correct. But uh, anyway, we'll just try and get it charged up. We'll try and light the, the uh, truck off with the solution, see what happens. So I'm going to get doing this. We'll slap it on a trickle charge at 2 amp, and we'll just have to see. All right, so we've had our battery on our charger for a couple of days now. It took about a day for it to actually start accepting a charge, but now it's doing good. And again, you want to run it on trickle charge, so we've been sitting at 2 amp. Um, these chargers that are old, like this is some charger from the 70s or something that has a 6 volt option. Um, these are really the best ones to use because they, uh, um, they overcharge the battery. They're not smart chargers, so they'll just keep putting charge to the battery until you disconnect it. And you really want to overcharge these batteries to get the whole um, desulfating action going on. Um, you know, at least that's my understanding of it. But anyway, it's doing pretty good. Obviously, I have the battery outside here so that, uh, you know, if anything were to happen, it would blow up. Nothing would go wrong. And uh, I left the caps a little popped because it's going to get hot and the water is going to expand. And I can see that some did indeed run out. Um, so anyway, I'm going to hook up our meter here and we're going to see just what it's sitting at, but I've already checked it, so I know we're pretty good. In the beginning, it had like, uh, um, when I hooked it to the charger, it literally had like, um, there's no voltage like whatsoever. I couldn't even get a reading, so this is pretty impressive. So anyway, I'm going to get this all hooked up and we'll take a look. All right, so here we have our battery, and it's charging pretty good. We're up to, you know, you can see our voltage there. We're well over... 12 volts so um, I think today I'm going to try and put it in that old truck out there and then see if the truck itself will crank over but um, as far as this goes I think we brought the battery back well enough to try and use it so anyway that's pretty impressive so I guess if you ever if it's the end of the world and you know you're left on your own for years and years I guess you can use old batteries this way so it's pretty impressive um, Anyway, we're going to get everything unhooked, unplugged, get these pushed back down. We'll take it out to the truck and see if we can light her off. So anyway, there you have it. 